Well, I'm out here today. It's a Monday. I've been sick for four days straight. <clears throat> and I have to be symptom free for 24 hours before I can return back to work. So, it's about 2.45. I'm out here on Hoover. I decided to come out for three or four hours just to get out. Water temp's 86 degrees. It's a little warm today. So, all I got is frozen cut bait shad. Figured I'd anchor up just for a little bit before I start dragging. See if they're biting on the, on the standstill baits. give it about a half hour. If it don't work out, then we'll start dragging. There's a decent one. Oh, he's pulling drag. Oh, did he come off? Nope, he's running right at me. And he got my other line. Come on. That's a nice blue. I turn around, just turned the camera back on. And my net's clear up front. All right. This is the downfall of fishing by yourself. I have no net guy. If I can pull this off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Out here. Well, open up for me. There we go. There we go. I ain't gonna weigh him, but I'm gonna guess he's probably 20. I'm out here by myself, I ain't tournament fishing, so. It's a nice one to start today, or evening. After being sick, I'm out of shape. Well, it's been about a half hour since uh, I caught that blue, so then we'll start dragging. We'll go ahead and maybe drag out of this spot, just head south up the lake.
I love that power pole. I was going to get the actual power pole motor for it, but power pole is 89 bucks, and then the motor itself is another 599 so it's like I could stick it in there by hand. All right, let's go ahead and head to the next spot. You didn't notice the GoPro angle was different because I had it on the yellow tech stick and it was out under the canopy in the sun and it didn't take it long at all to get hot and shut off. So now I got it under the canopy. side and we'll just wait and see what happens there we go there we go I can't tell if he's a decent one or not. Nah, he's a small one. A little five pounder, maybe. You can see the mud. He's down there playing in the mud. I don't know. Maybe a four or five pounder. Nice little blue. So that's our first one dragon. We're running. We're about seven and a half feet of water. And we're moving. A point four, point five. So we'll keep going. Get baited back up. All right. Well, we dug a good, I'd say half mile, three quarters of a mile. I'm at the end of my road here, rough in a cove. So I guess I'll go ahead and get these up.
All right, well, I'll get that mess out and then I'll head to another spot. <coughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. As long as we can keep them, keep them out of all the brush. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Uh, Mom's out of the brush. Oh buddy, this is a big one. <clears throat> oh, this is a big one. This might be my new PB on Hoover. Now if that ain't a tank, this one I am gonna I am gonna measure. Talk to me. Alright. See if we can't get a weight on this guy. See if we can't get a weight on this guy. Thirty point thirty point one two. Oh. Woo. Point one two. Whew, that wore me out. All right, let's get him back in. All right, buddy. Don't soak me. There you go. Man, coming off being sick and then fighting that fish. Whew. Well, now I'm covered in slime. That ain't a bad thing. Whew. Another 
That is a smaller one. Uh, he's probably a five or six. Oh, all right. Uh, he's a little bit bigger than that. Talking to me. Eh, he's probably a six, seven maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you back in. I don't see no, uh, he's got a little bit of mud on the bottom, but there we go. That makes three anchored today. So, obviously, anchoring is where it's at today. <clears throat> That was weird. That one smacked it. It's almost like it smacked it and come directly towards the boat. Or it smacked it, dropped it, then picked it back up. This is one of the Mad Cat's rattles on here, on this one. Get this one baited back out. Bait it back up and put out. <clears throat> I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay, but. Give it a little bit longer. Well, I think it's about that time. Been out here for uh, four hours, it's a little after six. Time I get packed up, loaded up. It's about 35 minutes to the house. Then I gotta go to my storage unit, back the boat in, put it away, and then head to the house. So, I guess it wasn't a bad trip. So guys, until next time, imagine the next time You'll see a video to be me and Danny fishing Midnight Madness. That's just uh, coming Saturday. That's gonna be a tough one because I got got to fish at from midnight to six, then hurry up and get off the water, get home unloaded, shower change, and my son graduates at ten o'clock. So that means no sleep through the night, and then I'm up all day for all his graduation stuff, so that's gonna be fun. All right, we'll wrap this one up.